Hi, I'm Howard Givner, and this class is Prospecting for New Business. If you own your own business, or if you work in a sales job for someone else, you're always looking for new clients. Now, people tend to go after new clients in one of two ways. Either they're reactive, which is they don't really go after clients very much at all. They wait and see what comes in off the phone, off the website, via email, etc. Or you're proactive. And if you're proactive, you're, you're taking a more aggressive and focused approach to getting clients. The best analogy for these two types of uh, people is a gardening analogy. I happen to be very into gardening these days. And there are people on my block who have a backyard that they really pay no attention to. Uh, things grow there. Uh, they're not necessarily things that they plant. They don't necessarily know what you know, height these things are going to grow to or how rich they're going to be. Uh, they just sort of take what comes and whatever survives based on the rain, the sun, et cetera, that's what they get. Then there are the proactive gardeners, like me, who will go to a nursery and talk to an expert and they'll find things that they like and they'll figure out how to grow them and they'll find things that fit with the right sun and the right amount of rain and they'll nurture these plants and they will get a much better uh, turnout in terms of what they want to grow. They'll also be able to get what they want to grow. They're not relying on just random things coming in. They'll say, I want tomatoes, and they make a concerted effort to grow tomatoes. And that's really what this, what this class is going to focus on, is going to focus on people who want to be more proactive about their approach for getting new business. It's not a class just about cold calling, although we will touch on that. But at the end of the day, it's about taking control of your approach to getting new business and not just sitting and waiting for it to come to you. Some of the things that we'll cover in this class are the importance of timing and we'll get into what I call the timing paradox. We'll also talk about pipeline management. We'll get into what many people call the elevator pitch and we'll learn the key things that you need to tell any potential client or a prospect for that matter. And I'll also talk about what things most people leave out of an elevator pitch to make it effective. We'll spend a little time talking about what I call the ask, which is being forward and asking for referrals for business, and we'll give you some strategies on how to do that. We'll talk about a number of different sources for new leads that's specific to the event industry. We'll also talk about how most people get very few leads from friends and family, and I'll give you suggestions on how to fix that. We'll go over some strategies for how to get a meeting with a prospect, and then finally we'll talk about sample icebreakers if you're at a networking event, ways that you can sort of butt in and have conversations with people that you may not know.